Hey and welcome back to the channel. This week I thought we'd kick it off with some old footage that I recorded a little while ago on how to fix your fox wing awning when the hinges are broken on it. They have a plastic little hinge in each one of the poles. This was my brother's awning that he gave to me. They um, had it blow over the top of the car in a bit of a windstorm. Ended up trashing the hinges on the awning. So this is how I replaced them. I'm not 100% sure that's the exact way you're supposed to do it. But this is how I did it. And it works afterwards. So if it's handy and helpful to you. Welcome to use it when you go to fix your fox wing awning. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. So here's the problem right here. We've got one snapped out, two snapped out, and number three snapped out. So they've just snapped out. I think the wind caught it and flipped it over on itself. So we've got an Allen key for the top. We've got a bolt on the bottom to undo those there and we've got just some new ones to put in there let's get it done so my one has some phillips head screws either on the back or underneath that one was underneath you unscrew them and that's what holds the plastic in there and then you got to get that plastic out as well so that's the next little obstacle, we've got to get that plastic out. So getting these out proves to be the hardest part. I found just screwing a wood screw into it and then using a pair of pliers and levering it off something so you don't damage the pipe and then eventually you can work its way to bring it right out. I did do... I did do a couple up here, I drilled it out thinking it might work, It'd be able to slip in, but can't get a hold of them to pull it out, so I'll have to keep playing with them. So I got three done, three to go. And then we can start putting the new hinges in. We've got all three of them out, which is six little sleeves. Now we just gotta put the new ones back in and then put it all back. On back together. So all you gotta do is Push these little suckers back into the hole. So you just line up the hole, push it in, and it doesn't quite go all the way, so you just get that little bit more. And then this one, there is a screw hole on top. And the kit comes with these little screws, but my one had these bigger screws in it. Look like they go right through into the second bit of plastic. So I'm just going to stick the bigger ones back in. I'll just keep the little ones as spares. And you literally just screw that back in. I'm just doing it by hand. Once you got all them in, you can push the top sleeve in. And this one's the bottom, so just goes down the bottom there. And you just got to line them all up. Once you got all that in, Time to put your bolt in. And then just do her up. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play Righto, we're back at it again We're going to pull out the front superior superflex arms We installed these oh, last year, November or August, something like that I think it was uh, There's a video about how to install them but, So we're not going right into the details, we're just going to Whip them out of this one and then they got to go back in the new girl. So they just got the toolbox, the old arms, going to just stick them in loosely and I needed a few bigger sockets as well. So, so first things first, just going to go through and crack all the bolts on both sides and then we'll start on pulling them all out. So we've got to pull all this apart and we've got to pull all the front ends apart as well. Um, don't need to take the shocks or anything out, just the arms out. But when we take the arms, we're also going to get 
the side steps to pop off so we'll get those sliders off and they can be ready we do have to drop the gearbox mount so we're going to need the jack under here to jack that up a little that's the passenger side swapped out um, just done all the nuts up finger tight except for the cross member bolts they aren't finger tight but they're a bit further than finger tight it's got a little bit of a gap um, planning on pulling the gearbox and transfer case out in the future so that'll probably be one of the next jobs to get them two out and there we go both superior arms out the old arms are in just gently and all the bits are in there also took out the uh, front hand hard as well um, this is an adjustable heavy duty one. Well, I guess now it's time to get this front end suspension back in the patrol. We've we parked it. the front end of the patrol in the garage, just enough for us to work on all this front end suspension. So, we're... all right, let's get into it. Well, this one's going to be a little bit harder. We've got the ABS line, so we've got to take them off or loosen them so they come out. Um, got to crack all the nuts, and the tire was sitting a lot closer to this pin so i took the tire off to get to it and open it up and we got to drop sway bars off too didn't have them on the other truck don't know why so we got this problem with the superior arms you need to buy the bigger sway bar mounts um, but i'm slack and forgot to order any so for now and we'll see how it goes anyway I've got this plan in motion. I'm just going to cut out the end piece of it. I'll smooth it out obviously, but yeah, just cutting it out on a little bit of an angle in because it won't need to come all the way, but we'll cut these out, smooth it off, and I'll show you what how it fits. And that's it. Opened up. As you can see, the uh, bolt goes in and can adjust out it doesn't quite fit right out the end which doesn't really matter it sits on there like that so it's still got a bit of meat holding um, we'll see how it goes while we organize some bigger ones and we just blew a bit of paint on them let them dry and there we go superior arms are in just gotta drop it all down onto the ground and tighten them all up um, I don't know if this is just my model or what but I couldn't get the rear hole for the ABS so I've just put a couple of cable ties through there it's still got a fair bit of flex in it, it can come down there so it should be okay um, I'll look into that see if there is a, another alternative but those two lined up um, and got them in on both sides it's exactly the same on both sides so the, the um, ABS wire is on but not the best um, well might be just the way it is just got to trim them off chuck tires on sway bars I need to extend these they're not going to fit um, because they're just too short for standard so we've got to extend them before we can put them on um, anyway let's get these wheels on and see how we go this is the standard sway bar um, i needed to extend it i also wanted to make it a quick release so i've built something a bit like that so she's got the same parts up on top and bottom just got a nut there i've had these these little bits for ages i can't remember where i got them and i just bought a bolt that goes through fits in there nice and snugly so that will mount to the actual sway bar this mounts this top part mounts to the car and this is the extension from car to sway bar and we've made it a quick release so you can just unhook it don't lose your washer obviously unhook it and it will give you the ability to disconnect your sway bars and run them without so that's one I've made um, I just need to make the other side although the other side probably doesn't need to be disconnect 
might make it disconnect, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. And it's extended two inches to match the two inch lift for the Big Bad Patrol. What I used is one of these, found a bolt that I cut the head off. That's the cut off, oh, it's still hot. That's the cut off head, bolt still hot. Cut the head off it, so I want the thread. I made sure it was a nice snug fit, not over crazy, but nice fit in there. And pretty much all I do with that, you've got the R pin goes through the hole. You've got a nut, a washer, and a spring washer, and another nut on there. At the same time, I cut a bit of rod down, which is all the same thread. So they're all the same thread. That thread straight into there. Cut that down to the length I needed, which is two inches longer than standard. I did rob the rubbers off them, not the washers, because they won't work. Um, so I've just got a nut in there for the length, a washer to make sure the rubber doesn't push past it. Then you'll mount that to the body like so, and then you've got a washer and a nut on top, and that just tightens up into place, replacing two of these little fellas. So there you go, all bolted up, that part, we'll just do the arms now. They are... Uh, only just reach. I mean, you could weld new plates and make them a tad longer. It's probably the smarter thing to do, but oh, I thought I'd try this out. See how it goes. The other side as well. Still got a fair bit to hold on to. I don't think it'll let go, but time will tell. We'll see how it goes. Well, I hit a problem in my design. So I designed this to go in there but it's not going to work. The pin's right up against there. So to overcome it, I'm going to put another nut on that and lock it off and then just have it slip through from the outside and pin it. And it'll end up a bit like that. I'll just tighten these up a bit so they're tied against each other and won't slip. And then when you want to take them off, the sway bars you just pull the pin out washer drops out and you pull that whole pin out go and put that in the car and it is disconnected alternatively you could probably take these four bolts out and take the whole sway bar off if you're going for a big day of off-road just get rid of it it's not like it does much anyway off-road only need them to keep the boys in blue happy so i wasn't happy with that um, I didn't change this bottom bolt section. It can stay the way it is for now. But I uh, added an extra nut in there and I changed the top nut up there to one with a flange on it. It does away with the washer and another lock nut against it. They are tightened against each other so that they don't move. And then I chucked another nut on top. Had to go rummaging through my boxes of bolts and bits and I found a few nuts that I could use and now I've got bolts with no nuts but you get that we'll buy some more nuts one day I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never captain space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh, na, 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 na.